This is Cadmio, a brand new app that promises real-time visualization and look development right on the iPad. Let's have a closer look. The app is only 3 months old, but it already looks quite promising. I wasn't even aware that something like that was available on the iPad until the creators of the app reached out to me. And I'm glad they did because finding things like that on the App Store is very difficult. Just to be clear, this is not a sponsored video. After testing the app and seeing its potential, I figured more people should know about it, especially since there's no other iPad app doing something similar. Now, what does Cadmio do exactly? Think of it as a fancy viewport that allows you to showcase and preview your model. You can assign materials to your object, light it with HDR images, and save renders of your object into your photo library. I'm using quotation marks because it's not really a render like the ones we get from Redshift or Octane. It's more like Blender's EV. Not as fancy, but still impressive enough. The cool thing is that the app comes in two flavors. The Cadmio app, which is the main paid product that allows you to light and texture your object, and the viewer, which is the best way for someone else to check out your models. For example, a client. They can just download the viewer app and preview the model there. The app comes with a set of preset materials and HDR images. We currently cannot create our own materials, but the ones available do cover all the common types we might need. So there are several options for wood, plastic, metal, glass, etc. And in most cases, the materials look really good. I was particularly impressed by the wooden, concrete, and marble materials. They look very convincing and realistic, which is important when trying to showcase a model. The metal and plastic collection is less impressive when uh, compared to the wooden and concrete materials, but they're still adequate enough. The problem with the metallic and plastic materials is that they don't have as many controls as I would have liked. For example, we cannot adjust the reflectiveness or glossiness of the metallic materials. We can adjust the scale of the texture or the color of it, but that's all the control we currently have. If more of the material settings would be exposed, we would have a better chance of dialing in the look we're going for. Some materials, like this uh, plastic material here, allow for more flexibility. Here, aside from the color, we can also adjust the roughness and clear coat roughness. This is the type of control I would like to see on all materials. The ones that use textures, like the wooden and uh, marble materials, also have some extra options for the projection of the texture. We have the ability to rotate the texture per axis, which is quite important when trying to get a convincing result. Going through the material setup process is really fast, and that's mostly because of the nicely thought out interface, shortcuts, and gestures. For example, let's say we want to exchange this light wood material with another one. We could go around and select each part one by one, or we could do it the faster way. By swiping to the left, we select all objects using the same material, and by swiping to the right, we apply the new material. Another shortcut I like to use is when we have lots of similar looking materials. This is where it can get tricky since it's not always easy to decipher which part of the object is using which material. So if we tap and hold, the material used in that part will get highlighted. And then it's just a matter of going into the material settings and making the necessary adjustments. Or let's take as an example assigning a material on all parts of the model. Instead of going around and picking every single part, which can get quite tedious, we can go into this object manager, click on the group, and then assign the material. The app has a ton of these little workflow helpers that speed things up immensely, not to mention the fact that it makes exploring different looks that much easier. The whole look dev and visualization part of 3D on the iPad is something that hasn't been explored at all. So Cadmio is basically the only app right now that does this sort of thing, at least to my knowledge. Nomad has a pleasing uh, viewport, but there's no real material library there and it only works with sculpted objects that have high fong angles. So hard surface models like these won't work there at all. Now as far as lighting goes, lighting is handled through HDR images and the selection so far is quite good. All of the available HDRs are absolutely perfect for product visualizations. There's a good variance between interiors and exteriors so you will be able to find an environment that fits your needs. 
My only problem with the HDR selection is similar to the issues I had with the material settings. Some HDRs are more flexible than others, but there's no way to know that beforehand. So there's a lot of trial and error. In some HDRs we can adjust the exposure, but in others we cannot. We just have to apply the HDR and see if that's possible or not. It basically depends on how the HDR is built, so I do understand why these limitations are there, but it still makes for a slightly confusing user experience. But what's consistent throughout all HDR images is the ability to rotate them, which is of course very important when trying to have a light source come from a certain direction. I feel there's one HDR environment in particular that is going to be used the most, and that's the custom HDR. As you can guess, this one allows us to use our own images. There's a limitation on the resolution of the image, but it's not really a big deal. The 4K size is good enough, and we can easily resize our HDRs in Photoshop or any other image editor. This option basically unlocks everything we might need when lighting with HDR images. We can adjust the exposure, the dome size, and we can also pick a color as a background instead of having the HDR showing through. If we had this level of flexibility with the material library, we would have the perfect iPad setup for look development. I hope that in the future we will have more material options exposed. I feel it's the one thing that most people will want. But options aside, the level of quality for both materials and HDRIs is really high. So no matter what, you will be able to texture and light your objects without any issues. In my eyes, Shaper 3D and Cadmio should really come as a bundle. They work really well together. We can model something in Shaper and then just import that into Cadmio without any trouble. The importing process is super simple. And most importantly, everything from our object is maintained. So if our object is comprised of different parts, these are all there. And the same goes for the names of the different parts. This is not something specific to Shaper though, it just has to do with the file type used. Currently Cadmio loads STEP and STL files. These are the standard formats that all CAD programs read, and they are the reason we see such flexibility when importing into Cadmio. For example, we can dig into the hierarchy of an object and quickly deselect the parts we don't want displayed. Right from Cadmio, which is very handy when trying to isolate specific parts of an object. As a C4D user, STEP is definitely not the format of choice, but it does make sense if you're a CAD user. Thankfully, exporting STLs from Cinema is not a big deal, so if you're a C4D user, you can export your model to STL with little to no trouble, and in the most part, things will be fine. There will be cases where you need to adjust the geometry, but it's not a difficult task. So if you're on the go and you just want to bring an iPad with you, the Cadmio and Shaper combo is quite good. I feel like with each passing month, we're slowly getting closer to a good tablet-only workflow. We still have room to grow, but we're getting there. So is Cadmio worth it? I would say yes. I think it's a great first step to having an app that allows for design review and look development right from the iPad. There's already a good selection of materials and HDRs, but of course I do hope to see a bigger library in the future. The crosstalk communication with Shaper is absolutely perfect, so if you're a Shaper 3D user, I think Cadmio is a no-brainer. If you're a Cinema 4D user, the app might not be exactly what you're looking for, since you can always carry around your laptop and do all the visualization work there. But I still love the fact that we can now do more things with our iPads. All in all, the app shows incredible potential, especially considering how new it is. The price might be a sticking point for some, since the app is using a subscription-based model, but the good thing is that it's priced competitively. If you're mainly a desktop user, it might not make so much sense, but if you're using Shaper 3D extensively, then I think you should consider some sort of a visualization tool. And with that, I think we've reached the end of this video. If you have any questions about the app or you need some clarification, let me know in the comments below. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.